I don't really uh, get in front of a camera and rant all that much anymore because it's just kind of aimless and I don't really like having an unfocused sort of review. But this game, I, I just can't help it. I can't help it. I just got to get in front of a camera and talk about this thing to save people time, to save people money, to let people know what's up. Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes. This game. Oh my god. Oh my god. Seriously. Shame, shame on Kojima and his production company. Shame on you. And I know, I know, I'm probably going to get so much hate, so much hate and so much backlash from about a million different people saying, oh, well, you just didn't play it right or whatever. I, I don't care. Two hours. Two hours for a $30 game. Two. Two hours. That is ridiculous. You know what that is? That is an expensive demo. That is a demo of a game. And, and and then on top of that, on top of that, it's not even David Hater. It's not even David Hater that's playing Snake. It's Queefer Sutherland or whatever the fuck his name is. It's 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 Jack Bauer. You you get rid of David Hater. How? Why? 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 He is Solid Snake. Why would you get rid of him? Oh, and, and, and Kojima's like, I just want to go in a different direction. I want to go in a fresh direction. Really? You know what happened the last time he went into a fresh direction? We got Raiden. We got fucking Raiden. And now, granted, you did make him a decent character later on. You know, you redeemed him later on. But, I mean, look at the original Raiden. Dude, I mean, come on. That's what happens when you try fresh shit. And I don't mind. I don't, I don't mind trying fresh things every now and then. But this is something that's that's integral to your games. This is something that defines your games. I mean, David Hayter's voice is what is synonymous with Solid Snake, with Naked Snake, with Big Boss. Why? Why? Why would you do this to David Hayter? You, you want to do something new? How about not fucking charging me $30 for a fucking demo? How about that? How about that? You, you want to try something new, Kojima? How about you try something new that's not completely hokey bullshit that the rest of the fucking gaming industry is doing to people right now, screwing them the fuck over? This isn't a Metal Gear Solid game. This is a fucking demo of a Metal Gear Solid game. And I don't give a shit what any fanboy tells you. This game is not worth $30. I literally, I, I played it for about an hour when it got here from UPS. And then I took a nap later on in the day. Kind of stopped playing it. Watched some Netflix. And then I put it back in and played it and finished the game. Now granted, I didn't run around this open world, and granted I didn't do that, but still, two hours for 30 bucks, 30 bucks is half of what a normal game would cost, 30 bucks, okay, so I should get half of what a normal game would be. And I was under no illusions, no illusions that this would be a full-fledged game. I, I was under no illusions that this would be a feature-length game like Phantom Pain. So I knew going in that this was going to be, sh you know, relatively short. But I had no idea that it would be this fucking short. That it would be this minimalistic. What is it? It's basically a rescue mission. One of the fucking worst things, one of the worst things that I had in Metal Gear Solid 3 was that whole thing where you're supposed to rescue Ava. I hated that. I hated that so much. And that's basically what you're doing here. You're rescuing people. And that's so annoying. That's so annoying.
You don't even get to fight a big baddie or anything. You know, the least you could do for my $30, for my 30 hard-earned dollars, is give me one, just one, just one big baddie. You know, I get to see him. I get to see the big baddie, but I don't get to fight him. And I'm not asking to, to kill him or anything like that. I just want a big baddie fight, you know, like a normal Metal Gear game. My feeling is, it was basically just a giant tech demo that they decided, hey, I bet you we can make some money off of this. So let's charge $30 for this game and throw it out there. It's not even a game. It's not even a game. And then, on top of that, on top of that, you know, you have to unlock hard mode. What? What? You have to unlock hard mode? So I I have to play through the game to be able to use different difficulties? That sounds kind of fucking stupid. Like, I can't go in and make this game harder? I mean, there are any S games that you can go into the options and make them harder. Why? Why, why are games doing this now? Why is difficulty setting and unlockable. That is not an unlockable. That is a feature of every game in existence. Uh, oh my god, how? How did you guys think that this would pass for a game? How? Oh, but there are side ops. Yeah, yeah, go here and destroy this, destroy these artillery pieces, and go here and kill these two guys before they escape. Like, are you fucking serious? They don't even try to fight me or anything. Oh, but they've got these interesting backstories. This one's the finger, and this one's the eye. Ooh. Oh, I'm scared. And and they don't even fight you. They don't even, they run from you if you get spotted. If you get spotted, they run. Oh my god. This game. This game bothers me. If this is the trend in gaming, if if Releasing demos with a $30 price tag is the trend of gaming. I, I don't even want to play normal games anymore. I'll just stick to, like, $20 indie titles. I, I, I paid, like, $10 for Terraria, and I've gotten more hours out of Terraria in one sit-down playthrough than I did in this entire $30 experience. What does that say? What does that say about your game? And I know all the fanboys are going to be like, oh, but Kojima's a genius. He's just the greatest guy ever. You know, you should you should feel privileged to pay $30 for a tech demo that he releases. Bullshit. Bullshit. I am a fan, a longtime fan of Metal Gear Solid, of the, of the, the entire series. I've played Metal Gear Solid, Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty, Metal Gear Solid 3, uh, Snake Eater, Metal Gear Solid 4, Guns of the Patriots, and then I played the Special Editions. I played Metal Gear Solid Substance. I played, or Metal Gear Solid 2 Substance. I've played Metal Gear Solid 3 Subsistence. I've played them all that have been available for PlayStation. Uh, the only ones I haven't really played are the ones, you know, for handhelds. And even then, I bought those and just didn't really like the control schemes and it's just a whole nother story, but this is something that should have been included in like a special box set with Phantom Pain, or something that's like a side mission somewhere down the road. This is not a game, and I don't give a shit what anyone says, what all the fanboys try to tell you. Even if you're a fan of the series, you're gonna be you're gonna be disappointed. You're gonna be disappointed. The map, you know this this. Oh, it's, it's open world, guys. It's open world. Really? Really? Because the stages are not really that big. The, this, the, or I, I say the stages. There's not the stages. There's one. There's one map. One. You don't even get a change in scenery. I mean, but you do get this awesome, big, huge battle on a tanker that, you know, guns are... are you know, guns are 
blazing and things are blowing up and, you know, people are dying left and right. Queefer Sutherland's yelling at people and, you know, Miller is, is being Miller and, you know, all this crazy shit. But you don't get control of the character to fight in this scene. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? You're going to show me that shit and then you're not even going to let me play it? Shame. Shame on you, Kojima. Shame on you for thinking that this is acceptable. And I dearly, dearly love the Metal Gear Solid franchise. I mean, I love it. I'm a huge Kojima fanboy. That's why I bought it in the first place. So, you know, for me, this is just a betrayal. This is a, a blatant betrayal. Oh, I can't even think straight. I'm so pissed off about this. Shame on you, Kojima. I, I seriously mean it. I mean, shame on you. And shame on all of you who think, oh, this game is just $30? That's, that's a great asking price for this piece of shit. What were people expecting for $30? What were people expecting? Really? Really? Like... Indie games, people that don't have the same kind of money and resources that Hideo Kojima has. Kojima has his own production studio, and he's making a $30 demo? You gotta be fucking kidding me, man. You gotta be kidding me. A $30 demo, regardless of whether you're, you're a fan or not, just watch the fucking cutscenes. Don't even bother buying this game, because it is not worth it. VR missions. VR missions on the PlayStation 1 has more content than this game. I, I can't even believe, I can't even believe I am saying that. VR missions has more content than this fucking game. I, I can't lie about this game. I can't, as a, as a Metal Gear fan, I cannot lie about this game. I feel like someone reached into my wallet and just ripped out 30 bucks and said, Here you go, bitch. Here's a demo of a Metal Gear Solid game. Deal with it. Shameful display, Kojima. Shameful display.